All right, welcome back to another Fabric Tip Friday. We're gonna try to do a lot of these pertaining strictly to J3, because it seems like that's the most popular plane being covered when people call me, and ask about the way we do it, as far as top, bottom, first, or whatever. I've got my cousin Brian from uh, Central Arkansas Aircraft over here, and the guy that helps him, and some others in here. And basically just starting off, we're getting the base of the glue down. Uh, one fast way on the leading edge, what James is doing, take a little three inch or four inch roller, get your thick mix. And you see, once he gets the layer on, then go back and you won't, don't want any lines left. Like the little lines here, once he's done, he'll take those out. So these, these videos is gonna be a combination of little short strips or just pictures and I'll narrate over what we do. So as of now, You've got everything like I did in the other videos ready to cover. Uh, what we did on the tanks, these tanks go all the way to the surface and I don't like the fabric right up on the surface and moving. So we laid down pad and I'll talk about what we do on that. We used AirTech glue thick, cut the pad, glued it to the tank and we'll talk later on what we do on that. This is one little thing that we like to do is just cover the, this hasn't been shrunk yet or anything, but. Uh, cover the end so that when your fabric across your wing, Piper doesn't have a good area to glue around that little T-rib. We like to just cover the ends and shrink it. And that gives you a good hard surface that you can bring the fabric around and it gets a good 90 degree pull. And what I do on the root, uh, I cut my piece a little big and just put, it's just a sharp edge here. Just put a little glue all around, around the edge and stick it. And I think James has done that over here. Mm -hmm. And once it's stuck, then you can cut a little perimeter, maybe a quarter inch, and then cut some little reliefs in it. And then you can just take an iron and break that over. Now you'll need another coat of glue on top of that when your leading edge comes around. You actually can bring that leading edge just right out to edge and razor because all this is gonna be under the fairing and hid under it. So. That's just the way we do the roots. Uh, everybody does them a little different. That just works out for us. All right, we're about ready to start laying the fabric out. It's going back. After this is dried enough to get a little bit of a shrink on it, putting a coat of thin, another coat of thin, all around here. And don't forget your end pieces. I may have not videoed what we normally do here. We like to cut, which this one's got solid wood in here, but when it's open, uh, you know, lay a piece in, that way everything will lap down over it. You don't have a raw place in it. Make sure you got your ends trimmed out good, take an iron. Then once it's in, don't forget, you have to put more thick glue right here. I mean, fabric will stick to it after you've glued it down, but you need another base just as though, as if there was never a piece of fabric there, just like you did here. So you go around and check everything and, and make sure that you've got that extra bit of glue right there and around the side. So he's about ready to start laying out the piece and uh, he'll explain when he starts, but what we like to do is start on the bottom first. Now this is a clipped wing cub, so it doesn't have a lot of trailing edge over there, but it'll have enough to show you. All right, we're gonna start with the bottom and Brian's gonna explain what he first off starts doing. Uh, one thing you can do, a, a, good, a good tape measure to use is go to a fabric shop or a dressmaking supply shop and get one of these soft tapes. These are really, really nice, you know, for measuring around stuff. So before I lay the fabric out, I just want to get a measurement from the center of the trailing edge to, to the edge of it because we're going to have, this fabric is going to lap around and, and, glue, and glue all the way to the edge and then we'll trim it. The roll of fabric has that burned hot wire edge on it so you need to allow a little extra to have to trim off so if we measure from the center of the trailing edge to the edge of it that is an inch and five eighths and then if we add another quarter inch we're at an inch and seven eighths uh then that'll give us plenty to glue to here and then trim it off with a razor blade all right so we're going to roll the fabric out on the wing uh i've left a couple three inches overhang on the other we'll roll it out uh, on the tip end of it on a J3 wing, I mean, fabric is one of the most inexpensive parts of the covering process. So I like to leave, you know, six inches or so, so you've got something to hold on to when you're gonna iron that around that. You know, there are people that try to cut it just and use minimal amount of fabric. 
and that's fine if they can get away with that. But you know, I'll use a little extra fabric. It just makes it easier. So we're going to get it rolled out, and then we're going to measure our trailing edge, the measurement we took a while ago, and mark the fabric and then use alligator clips and then start tacking with glue once we get the fabric laid out and squared out on the wing.